We begin with an update on COVID-19 from the Savannah Chatham County Public School System. Today, the school board met for the first time since the start of the second semester. This as COVID cases continue to rise in the community, fueled by the spread of the Omicron variant. And WSAV's Brian Ray joining us live from the Whitney Complex, where today's school board meeting took place. So Brian, what is the district saying about the possibility of changing operating plans? Ben, Tina, good evening. Right now, district leaders say the goal remains the same, to keep schools open five days a week with students in the classroom. While the superintendent says they are disappointed by the rising cases in the community, they're not changing any of their plans right now. School district leaders say they continue to meet with their team of local medical experts to look at the community transmission and determine if changes need to be made to school protocol. The same practices from first semester are in place. That includes the use of masks and PPE, weekly testing for athletes, and contact tracing and quarantine protocols. Dr. Lavette says for the first day of the new semester, 85% of staff was in attendance, but there is concern if teachers and other staff get infected, it could lead to having to close schools with not enough hands. We certainly try to keep buildings open if we can. Um, we, we recognize that with the rate of infections that we may have staff who are out. So we have emergency plans available, but there may possibly be rolling closures. So I ask all parents to have an emergency plan available. We often are not able to give you a whole lot of notice if we need to close down a classroom or a wing. Um, so we ask you to have a plan available if you need to. Lavette also says about 85% of district staff are vaccinated. District leaders say they plan to wait until two weeks after the holiday break before thinking about making any changes to their policies. Live in Savannah, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3 on your side.